Hey, y'all. I hope y'all doing well. Um, this is your girl, Tanetta, your social worker coach. Of course, I just want to say hello. Welcome to this. Uh, I'm actually doing a podcast, an update podcast and a TikTok video. So at the same time. So so like I said, definitely I want to welcome y'all podcast, the social worker coach. Of course, y'all can make sure y'all, of course, subscribe on over on Spotify and whatever other platform you listen to your podcast on. Go check it out, y'all. Um, and also, of course, TikTok. If y'all on the podcast, make sure that y'all get y'all butts over to TikTok and follow me over there too, so y'all can always see what's going on and 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 how I'm rolling. I guess I put it that way as well. I'm trying to see, okay. And like I said, I just want to give y'all an update what's going on, that kind of thing. I know I hadn't talked to y'all in a while. It seems like, um, of course, podcasts. Of course, like I said, I just did post a podcast on there um, a few days ago, actually. Um, I'm reading the book. Uh, where's my book? The Law of Success. In 16, um, I guess in 16 Lessons by Napoleon Hill. So I um, did a summary that I'm, I'm, I'm doing every chapter as a summary. So like I said, if y'all are all, I guess, about mindset, personal development, trying to grow yourselves and that kind of thing, make sure y'all get your butts over and subscribe to the podcast. So like I said, definitely it's um, the Social Worker Coach. Social Worker Coach, the same name I have um, on my um, bio here over on Spotify or whatever platform y'all listen to, your podcast on. But like I said, definitely, I just want to give y'all an update of what's going on because I'm in a new place, actually. Um, since the last live I did in the last podcast, I kind of technically did. Um, <clears throat> we have moved. I guess I put it that way. We're still, of course, in Arizona. Yes. We're not too far from where we actually stayed before. Yes. Which, which is awesome. And I want to say um, thank you all for tuning in. Hey, sis, Denise. Thank you for tuning in. Alonzo Beal. I don't, didn't see the number. Granny, Sheila Davis. Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, Joseph G, I think is what it says. Lynn, thank you all for tuning in. Shelly Downing, like I said, I really appreciate y'all. I mean, y'all know who I am. Of course, I'm Tanetta, your social worker coach. Yes, I'm a social worker by, um, by degree. Um, 24 years I celebrated, I guess, on this video, I guess I'll celebrate now. Because <laughs> I didn't celebrate last month. We were in the process of moving last month and trying to get things together in order to move to this new place. So, um, so like I said, definitely I can celebrate now, y'all, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited about that. Um, excited about, of course, this being my 24th year in social work, but also excited about my um, life coaching as well. As I'm a certified life coach, that happened a few years ago as well. So, like I said, definitely, y'all, um, just excited about them both. But I know that um, eventually and over time, the social work position or job, I put it that way, will of course phase itself on out. But, but like I said, in the meantime, yes, your girl still is full time employed as a social worker. Um, just in case y'all don't know, because I'm sure a lot of y'all don't know who I am, because y'all are getting used to me. My sis Denise, of course, she knows what I do. I put it that way. But but like I said, definitely for those who don't, like I said, I'm a social worker. Um, the certified life coach, I get to that in a moment. But being a social worker, been in the field 24 years, working with um, everybody from birth to death, actually, at this point. Um, work with um, foster care case management, some uh, with the family court and like... Um, custody, foster care, that type of thing. Um, of course, working with the homeless program for many years, um, transitional housing, running that program and the apartment program, um, assisting with the life skills classes and that type of thing. That's why I love doing the teaching and that kind of thing. Now, I'm pretty sure that's where that came from. Actually, it came from a long time ago because I always let to talk. So, like, yes, yeah, y'all can tell I never shut up. <laughs> so, um, let me see. Um, um, is it Jack Girl or Jack? GRL. Thank you. Um, I, I actually don't have a LCSW or MSW. I'm a BSW. Um, I just been in the field for a long time. I guess I put it that way. Um, I did actually start my master's program. I started the first year of it. Seemed like it was a waste of time to me. I'm just like, what was the point? But didn't learn anything, wasting all my money, 30 some thousand dollars. I'm like, I can't do this. So therefore I stopped after my first year, but technically I have part of a master's. I guess I say that. And being a master's in St. Louis, you don't really get paid. Well, I'm, I'm in Arizona now. Um, but you really don't get paid much of a few thousand dollars more. It's not really much. Like I said, what's the point? I didn't. I, I, so I, therefore, I did not complete that. I put it that way. But I had my bachelor's in social work, actually. But I have been in the field uh, for 24 years now. So but like I said, definitely um, I work with, like I said, from everything from birth to death. Right now, I actually facilitate support groups for our caregivers down here in Arizona. So like I said, that's definitely been very interesting. Um, of course, not just hearing their stories and that kind of thing, but. Um, just putting in my mind and um, in my heart as well to make sure that I'm living my life the best way I can live my life. I guess I put it that way, because I know that um, our time is not allowed, allotted to anyone. I know that 
we all at some point are going to have to die. I can tell you that. We all, of course, we, we all know that. But nobody really wants to talk about it a lot at all when we know it's going to happen. A lot of times we, of course, don't want to hear it, don't want to hear anybody mention it, those types of things. Now, hey, Shantice, hey, sis, thank you for tuning in. And like I said, definitely, we just don't want to hear about it. But we know that we don't have a lot of time here on this earth. I, and, and that's only given if you're healthy, if you're doing your exercises, eating right, you're healthy, your health issues, all those types of things. If you do have health issues, make sure that you're keeping them in order. Like I said, definitely you, um, like I said, nobody's allowed to live. I think, what what is it? I think for women, it's like 72 years or something like that. For men, it's like 70 or 69 or it's something like that. Like I said, definitely, like like I said, we just have to realize, even I wasn't going to talk about this today, but I'll go ahead and talk about this. I'm already, I'm already, already on that bandwagon, but... But like I said, definitely just realizing, like I said, just talking to the caregivers and hearing their stories about how they, of course, are frustrated, that kind of thing. Caring for their loved ones who have illnesses on their deathbed as well. Some are in hospice and that type of thing. And not, it's not just this this particular position, but a position I had uh, for maybe for like the last five and a half years before coming here to Arizona. Um, working with the seniors, the disabled, the similar kind of job, actually, except for we didn't have support groups back in St. Louis. Um, but like I said, definitely just knowing that how much they tell me that they regret that, that they didn't go and take those trips or start that business or have those kids or buy the house or whatever it is, because now they're, of course, either in, in, in the bed, can't move, health is failing, health is bad, or they're too old to even do those things. The memory's not there anymore because I work a lot now with dementia, Alzheimer's, different memory issues and that kind of thing. I can't tell you how that turns families apart. I can't tell you. I, I guess it, it's, it's a thousand words. I'm sure I can tell you in, but... But like I said, it definitely just gives me things to think about. And then, of course, as we know that we all, of course, in relationships, getting married, doing all these things, to death do us part. And that's what a lot of these caregivers are doing, I put it that way. Caring for their husbands, their wives, who are, of course, have dementia, other illnesses, can't live a life like they thought they were going to live, I guess I put it that way. And like I said, yes, that's that's definitely very frustrating for anybody. Um, you expect to, of course, have all this fun, travel, do all these things when you retire and do all this stuff. And like I said, for a lot of them, they cannot do that at all at this present time. Either health has failed or they're taking care of their partner or their loved one where their health has failed. So like I said, definitely, like I said, I could talk about this all day long, y'all. But like I said, definitely just know that you're, however you're living your life, make sure that you're living it. I guess I put it that way. Like I said, that's, that's the, even though I wasn't going to go there today, but I'm going there now. But, and thank you, sis. Um. I'm, I'm definitely teaching about this, this, but like I said, I actually did definitely probably need, need to teach about it more, actually, because I know a lot of folks, of course, are, are caregiving or I heard taking care of somebody and have no idea what resources to go to or what he was, what is even available. I had that same issue back in St. Louis, actually, a lot of times, actually, worked at like an all black home health care agency is one, one of the big ones that's um, there in St. Louis. And you would, I couldn't tell you how many people that I came in contact with. Didn't know a lot about the Medicaid system, even though they may have had Medicaid. Didn't know what they can, of course, qualify for, all those types of things. Didn't know what hospice was or palliative care was. Didn't know that, that, that there was even a such thing as support groups or even though we didn't have any in St. Louis City at all that, that dealt with bereavement, which it should have because that's where a lot of murders happen, a lot of deaths happen. But they're out, I guess, like in, in the affluent areas, I guess I put it that way. But like I said, those are things they had no idea what it, it what, what the end of life care entails. None of those things. And like I said, I had to go through all those trainings and all that, um, get all that knowledge about those things. Like I said, sis, I probably will, will be teaching that sometime every every so often just to get people, like I said, I guess some 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 information about, like I said, end-of-life care, growing older, those types of things. I'm 46 now. I'll be 47 in September. So like I said, I'm getting older just like I'm, well, just like you, sis. So, so and just like the rest of the people on here, like I said, um, was it D, um, Jack Girl, Alonzo Beal, a lot of y'all, of course, I'm, I'm assuming y'all are probably up in age. I don't, I don't know what your age is, but every year we're all getting a birthday and we're all getting older. So like I said, you definitely have to, to make sure, like I said before, that you're living your life the best way that you can. And like I said, I know I, that's, that's one thing that I have always tried to do. I guess I put it that way. And like I said, just moving down here to Arizona, that was me moving, living my life the best way I could as well. Trying to have a change of scenery. Um, from all the stuff that was in St. Louis, I guess I put it that way, all the chaos and drama and the news and shootings and all this type of thing. Just just trying, trying to do something different so that I can live my life and I have to be scared every day and traveling and all this type of stuff going on. And like I said, definitely it just like I said, just rings a bell. Like I said, to just like, like I said, to just live your life. I know a lot of the times um, I've spoken to a lot of not not just the caregivers, but the 
the families that I work with at the home health agency as well. I cannot tell you how many times, like I said, those regrets. And like I said, I'm one that does not want to leave this earth as much as I can with any kind of regrets. I guess I put it that way. I regretted about I didn't start this business or I didn't um, whatever it is. I don't know. Get on TV or whatever it is. I don't do these videos or be a coach or I don't know, have my bakery or whatever it's going to be. Like I said, definitely. I Like I said, definitely. I, like I said, I, I just know that I have to live my life, I guess, the best way I can. I cannot tell you how to live yours. Yes, I'm a certified life coach. If you want to work with me and talk to me about your issues or try to figure out what you want to do with your life and that kind of thing or, or how to make it better, I guess, in your eyes, like I said, definitely reach out to me. But otherwise, like I said, definitely I try my best to, when I talk to, I guess, to my, talk, I guess talking to myself and talking to my clients, try to find out, like I said, just, just trying to figure out what in the world are you, I guess, are you trying to live for? I guess I put it that way. What things are you wanting to do? What things are you wanting to experience? If it's travel, then go ahead and set up, I guess, do something as far as traveling. Set up a trip, set up a cruise. I don't know, just go to the hotel in like another city or, or town or state, wherever you can drive to if you can. Like I said, we just definitely have to start living our life the best way we can, y'all. Regardless as to how much money we have and that kind of thing. Like I said, there's always ways we can save to get anything that we, well, most things they want. We can't just save them by multi-million dollar mansions and all these types of things, especially if you only have a salary job, I guess I put it that way. But like I said, definitely you can, you can, you can save to go on trips. We're actually going on a trip in this, um, this, this, this fall, actually down to the Caribbean. We've already been there, of course, back a long time ago. Um, but like I said, this is my partner, me and his um, first actual big trip like that together, I guess I put it that way. And his daughter's going too. She's 15. So like I said, she'll be able to enjoy, of course, like I said, the ocean for the first time and that kind of thing and the, how the cruise boat actually works and how it looks and the kind of things that you're going to do. And like I said, I'm sure she'll enjoy that as well. Um, but like I said, definitely we're, we're, we're looking to take our first trip together like that um, this fall. And like I said, we're looking to do a trip, at least a big trip, at least once a year. We said twice. We'll see, I guess. But um, I guess it just depends on where it's going, what's going on, that kind of thing, too. But we're looking one, one, I guess one, one to two times a year to start, I guess, to start doing something like that. Because, like I said, we definitely we're just thinking about that. Just like, okay, we're just sitting up here working and working and working, trying to start these businesses, getting things going, running ourselves ragged, and we hadn't even had a a, a big, well, not not a big. This not really a big, big, big vacation, but it is a vacation just for us to get relaxation, to enjoy, and that kind of thing. So like I said, we just went ahead and booked it. We booked it a few months ago, actually. So, so like I said, definitely just wanted, just, just we had, we had to realize that we're not living our lives. We're just working day by day, running the business day by day, doing all the ins and outs of those things, which is good. Of course, we're both transitioning out of our jobs to a business and that kind of thing. But, but like I said, that of course sometimes takes time, a little bit of time. Um, but like I said, definitely we had to realize that we can no longer go on this hamster wheel just over and over and over again every single day. And we had to do something to, of course, like I said, to, um, to of course, bring some, I guess, to break the monotony, I guess I put it that way. And like I said, definitely, um, I hope that y'all out there living your lives as well. Dawn555, five, five, five. Um, Sis Shantice, you said, um, right? Oh, I'm glad you re relocated, Sis. Yes, I, I'm definitely at peace. I can definitely tell you that, Sis. Um I cannot tell you how it feels to just walk outside and I feel like I'm going to be shot to damn death I could, with somebody driving down the street or somebody running down the street or something else. I know I did a video when I, um, a little bit after I got here about my comparisons to Tucson and to St. Louis and just saying that um, I didn't realize how much trauma, of course, I suffered in St. Louis, I guess I put it that way. And it didn't have to happen to me personally, which it did. Some of it did, yes. But like I said, all the trauma, it just, the I know that's the reason why I have PTSD. I was diagnosed with PTSD back when I was in my early college years, actually, um, with all the, um, the the shootings, all the trauma, all the drama that you see and that you go through, especially living in a city like that. As you know, sis, um, St. Louis um, was number one murder capital of the well, this country, I guess, since, well, since I was a kid, actually. And I think it may have went to number two or number three, but it always stayed below Below three, I guess I put it that way. Most times, number one. And I'm like, okay, who in the hell else we have to kill there? I mean, it can't be that many people. I'm just like, which is not that many people. It is almost like, I think it's combined city, county, the little area surrounding us. I think it's almost like a million or something like that. It ain't that many people, especially in the city areas and that kind of thing. Mama, who else do, do you have to kill? I'm like, this is ridiculous. And it just keeps getting worse and getting worse. And like I said, definitely, like, like Denise said, sis Denise, Yes, I did get out while I could. And like I said, definitely, I should have been left. Like I said, a long time ago, which, of course, that, that that was on me. But like I said, definitely not knowing how to do it or 
and not even looking into the process. Like I said, all that survival mode, just, just trying to pay the bills and trying to do what I need to do. And I wasn't even looking. I, I kept saying it, kept saying it, kept saying it, but I never took the action. I guess I put it that way. That's why I'm so big as a life coach to make sure that any client who works with me, we have, there is, yes, you can tell me all these things all day, whether you want to take action, or I guess to take a trip or start a business or get your mindset together, whatever it is. But like I said, or, 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 and, or, and or work on the healing and triggers that you have. But like I said, yes, you can tell me those things all day. But if you're not taking action, we can't work together. And I know I've said that on other videos as well. But like I said, definitely, that's something that I'm really, really big on is, is taking action, y'all. There is no way that you can live a life and, and say that you want all these things. But you, I, I guess, take that back. It is a way that you can live your life and say that you want all these things, but never accomplish anything. There is a way to do that. Just sit there and do nothing. But like I said, the person that I am suffered sexual abuse. Both my parents are deceased now. My dad died of a drug overdose. My mother um, died when I was about 20, 21 years old of cancer. Um, I've lost a lot of other family members and friends being killed and that kind of thing. I've had all, all, all types of stuff going on, I guess I put it that way, since I've been a little kid. See my mom abused by, by my dad almost every day in the household. That was traumatic, just bad stuff. If, if, if nothing else even had happened to me. But like I said, definitely just knowing all these things have happened and knowing that I've overcame all these things. I know damn well that there, whoever's listening to this, Denise, is it QQD? Um, Shantice, is it Jack Girl? Re, um, Alonzo Beal. I can't see the rest of the names. I think I clicked it, clicked it off. But um, Joe Cummings, Zero. All those folks that are listening to the sound of my voice, like I said, there's no reason why you cannot take action and, and improve your life as well. The same thing I've done as well. And is it Tammy um, Donawa? Um, you you included as well, Since I guess, since you just logged on. And like I said, there's no reason why. I don't care what you've been through. And like I said, I know I've been through a whole lot of types of things. And like I said, definitely, you, I, like I said, working with me as a coach, like I said, definitely, I'm not going to make you do anything or make you do anything, but I know that certain people that when I'm talking to you and trying to get to know you and trying to see if we can actually be a good fit, I know those people who are ready to move and those people who are, who are not ready to move. I guess I put it that way. And like I said, I'm one that that's that's always ready to move. That's, how, that's, that's just how my mind and my body, my soul works. And like I said, definitely, like I said, definitely, it's just we can sit here and talk all days. I know, like I said, I talked about moving a long time ago and doing all these things back when I was in my teens and my 20s and never did even look up to see what it would take for me to move. We didn't even have internet back then anyway, so I couldn't really look up anything online. We didn't have internet until I was probably, I guess, up and going. What, the last 15, 20 years? I don't know, something like that. Something. In my mid-20s, I guess that's when it was, er, mid to, like er, early to like mid-20s when it was open to like the public and we were all trying to figure out what it was and all that type of thing back then. We had no clue it was even going to be anything big like this. Some of us thought it was a fad or that kind of thing, but like I said, definitely... Just, just, just realizing all those times I said I was going to do this, I was going to move, I was going to get that. Now I have moved. I guess I, I can say that. And like I said, definitely, yes, sis. Like I said before, it's definitely been a change. Like you said, a change for the better. Um, I can definitely tell you that, even though I don't, I don't know many folks down here. Uh, we did start off at a church actually down here, but we're we stopped going to that one. But uh, we have another. We we actually visited one last Sunday. No, Sunday before last. But we're actually going to go this this coming Sunday to try to get like some kind of church home, church family, that kind of thing while we're down here. So, of course, start get, start, starting to get to know people besides our coworkers and stuff like that. So and our neighbors and things like that, too. So so like I said, definitely, like I said, sis, that's what I'm on at this present time. And I don't even know if I even told you. Um, I forgot. Oh, um, with. Well, I, think, well, I don't know if you. You, well, you probably didn't. Oh, actually, probably none of y'all probably saw the video on YouTube. I guess the video I was talking about comparing St. Louis to Tucson. But um, definitely, like I said, since there was, um, and like I said, I don't even know if I even told you this. But since I've been here, um, I, just, I know you, you were talking, I guess, like talking about the movie and that kind of thing. But um, that I hadn't even heard a gunshot that I, well, it, it's been fireworks and that kind of thing. Because fireworks are legal here. They can pop them all year long and all this um, but like I said, I hadn't heard a gunshot since I've been here, sis. And like I said, living at home back in St. Louis, that was every single night, several times a night. In the back alley, on the side of the house, in the front of the house. And like I said, definitely just been a a, um, a whole total 360, I guess I put it that way. It's so peaceful, so quiet. I'm like, oh my God, it's very quiet, actually. Which I love that, actually. Um, but like I said, definitely, sis, thank you for asking me about it. Which I know I went on a whole tangent about it. But definitely thank you for asking me about it. Um, so like I said, definitely, y'all. Like I said, we are still down here in Arizona, but we're definitely in a new apartment. 
um, in, in a new place, a bigger place. Of course, like I said, his daughter came to stay with us a few weeks ago. So we, of course, had to move to get something bigger to make sure she had her own room. She's a teenager, that kind of thing, too. And like I said, definitely has been awesome. We're still, we still have a few things I can't really show y'all because I'm, I'm, I'm actually in the the bedroom, everything else is like up front, but we still have like a few boxes to, of course, unpack and to put up and that kind of thing. So like I said, it's definitely been a joy. Like I said, definitely um, just trying to, of course, get things going again. I guess I say that because I know I've been out of commission trying to get moved and do all that stuff like the last few weeks. So I didn't even go sell any cookies last weekend, y'all. Tell you how much, I guess, how busy we have been here. Um, but um, but like I said, definitely I'm back on that as well because I'll be going next weekend. Not this weekend, but the following weekend actually. So so I can't wait for that. So I'm actually going to be having some cupcakes and cookies. Probably cupcake cookies and some, something else, my ish. Because I got my, um, just, just in case y'all don't know, my sis knows. But my cookie business is, um, or the baking business that I have down here in Tucson is called Cookies and Ish. And of course, um, the cookies, of course, I've been trying to perfect some of those and that kind of thing. But I make all types of things, cookies, cupcakes. Cakes. I don't. I don't do decorated cakes anymore. Um, took a lot of time, by the work, that kind of thing, and I ain't got three friends ready space. No way. But like I said, I love doing my small treats and the things that you can pick up and take with you. I have always loved doing those. So like I said, definitely that's that's the, the business that I do have down here. Besides the coaching business, like I said, I'm transitioning into that a little bit slowly. But like I said, definitely the the baking has definitely been something that um, has helped me heal over these last. I don't know how many decades. I guess three decades. I guess I don't know how many decades, but. Um, but like I said, definitely has helped me heal throughout the years, helped me heal less of my triggers, helped me regain my inner peace. I guess I put it that way as well. Helped me strategize, helped me plan for things. Like I said, definitely has been, definitely been something that I would never let go of unless I stay in a country or a place where I cannot bake it. I guess I put it that way. I don't have the ingredients to bake or make sweets or that kind of thing. So, so like I said, that's definitely a, definitely a big part of me. And I think I told y'all, um, some of y'all may have been on, on that video before. Um, and my sister, um, Shantisha, I think she said she makes bloom decorations in her event planning business up in St. Louis. And like I said, that's definitely something I'm adding down here to my cookie business as well. Um, I'll be making a bloom decoration this weekend, y'all. So I'll, I don't know if I'll be on live or not. I cannot say. Um, but um, I may record some of it. We'll see. But like I said, definitely, because um, I have the room, the space now. I can throw all the blooms in the front room, have everything sitting all over the place, and then just go ahead and put it together. So I'm excited about that, y'all. So so like I said, definitely, I would definitely keep y'all abreast on that. Because like I said, my um my sweets business, like I said, definitely, I'm trying to get more into, like, not trying, but I am getting more into um, the event space, I guess I put it that way. Providing sweets, catering, and that kind of thing. Um like I said, the balloons will be something else that I can, I guess, offer. I put it that way, too. So, so like I said, definitely it should be a joy. It should be interesting, I guess I would say. And just to let y'all know, of course, being a life coach, of course, because I don't think I said this early on, but like I said, I definitely talk about um, improving your mindset. Mindset to me means your integrity, your character, how well you're healing, I guess I put it that way as well, from the traumas and the dramas that you face, your happiness and all those types of things. To me, all those things come with mindset, including your thoughts and your thinking, too, and whatever's coming out your mouth, too. Um, of course, like I said, I work with the mindset, well, people with mindset um, want to improve their mindset, that kind of thing, because that's what I've done as well. And that's what I help a few other family, friends, that kind of thing do as well. Um, also, when it, um, one thing I won't mention, because I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, just, just yet, but... Um, it's on, it, trust me, it is on my mind, but like I said, one thing I can't mention right now, but like I said, definitely, um, talking about, um, how the baking, the hobby that I had, that I had back when I was younger, how it's of course created a business and those types of things over the years. Like I said, that is definitely another thing that I work with, work with people with, or starting to work with people with more, I guess I put it that way as well. Cause I know how important it is to of course heal from our traumas and our dramas and those types of things. But like I said, my baking business has created income for me. So, so I know that your hobby business or your whatever, whatever business you like to do or whatever thing you like to do to of course help you heal. I'm sure that can as well. So like I said, definitely that's something that I've added to my repertoire. I guess I say that it's something that I've always loved. Cause like I said, for me, my mind runs, runs and runs on thinking about ideas, big old brainstormer and that type of thing. He gotta be hot. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Saw somebody walking past with this black hoodie. It's like a not almost 100 degrees outside, but maybe he got thin blood or something. I don't know. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, I, I, I just got thrown off because I'm actually looking out the window, too. Um, but, but like I said, definitely. I forgot where I was going oh, with the coaching, with the business. But like I said, definitely, because that just threw me off, y'all. But like I said, definitely with um, 
Um, the Like I said, my mind runs, I guess, like I have an idea for this and that, these types of businesses. And it always has, actually. Back in the day, back when I was working um, at um, one of the um, the housing programs back in St. Louis, I had two, co- actually three co-workers, actually, who approached me. Um, and I hadn't even, I, I, only thing I was doing was the same, thing, like the baking business. I'm selling that, having like different events and th- that kind of thing, like sell my well, just like sell the treat set and that kind of thing as well. And back then, I had three different people ask me about helping me, help me helping them like with their programming and um, that type of thing. Is like I said, programming in their business and that kind of thing, and setting their business up and that kind of thing. This was probably like, well, I mean, how many years ago was this? It probably is about 10, 15, probably about 15 years ago now. And you know what? Back then, like I said, definitely. I know I thought about, of course, like I said, doing something with business, but I didn't feel that I had a, a lot of knowledge and a lot of um, information to give and that kind of thing. I know I have that now, but like I said, definitely I had to grow into this particular um, coaching facet, I guess you want to say that. So so like I said, definitely, like I said, it, it's just been a joy, I guess I put it that way. Because like I said, I love to see people, I mean, I love to see myself thrive. I love to see other folks thrive. My sister, um, Denise, she has a coaching business as well. Um, or she had, a, I think it was health coaching actually. Um, and she knows a lot about like us oils and different kind of plants and, um, foods and different things like that. Um, and sis, um, Shanties, I know you're doing the event planning business. Like I said, I definitely love to see people thrive and doing what they love to do with the gifts and the talents that they have. And like I said, they, they definitely do, do, do not have to stay a hobby. Like I said, they can definitely create your incomes. I'm sure those ladies are making income the same way I am for my business as well. And you said, am I still doing my apple sis? I have not done any apples since I've been here in Tucson yet. No, I have not. I will though, but I, I but thus far I have not. Um, I, the one thing I have to decide and figure out is about the um, the heat here, because I know um, St. Louis we did have like some 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 cold times and that kind of thing, but the heat down here is a lot hotter. So I would have to figure out a way to keep those apples from melting. I guess I put it that way. Um, so that's the only issue why I have not done that because I know once I step outside with those apples, that heat's going to hit them. The, 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 the caramel and the the candy, I'm sure, are, are going to start melting. So, so like I said, that's something that I'm trying to figure out. I, um, I will be making some soon, though. It won't be this month. It probably will be next month to take, um, to, I guess, to one of the events that, I, that I'll be doing, which is inside. So, like I said, that will be good for that particular place. But I've noticed that since I've been here trying to, of course, go out to, like, these outside events. Because they have a lot of vendor events here, like, almost every single day um, here in, a, in everywhere in Arizona, it seems like. Um, but having my cookies and my treats outside, that was not a good thing at all. And all the heat, the cookies were sweating, the bags were sweating, the chocolates were melting. I mean, it was just ridiculous, y'all. So like I said, I'm, I'm inside at a place now, but it won't, will not be this month. Like I said, I'll make some next month and see how they do. Sis and I, I'll definitely take pictures and probably do a, a video, that kind of thing about it, but I'll definitely let you know. So, so like I said, and actually, I meant to ask you, how's your event planning business going? Um, I don't, and what's the name of your business? I'm like, Lord, cause I, I don't know. What the, what the name of your business is, sis. So that's at least can like at least shout you out or that kind of thing as well. Yeah, there are some metal containers and dry ice. Like I said, I actually have a cooler that I have like the um the freezer packets in. A freezer, what are they called? Frozen, I don't know. Freezer packs. I guess I have like six or seven of those. So like I said, definitely I have that. I just have not done that yet. And I know me trying to carry that heavy cooler and all that stuff, because Adrian's usually at work when I go, so I'm trying to carry all this heavy stuff. I have, I have like a little bag that I can carry it in, that kind of thing, or several little bags or whatever, like those little grub hub bags or that kind of thing that I can put it in to carry it in. But that cooler gets heavy with all those ice packs. So so like I said, whenever he's off the next time, hopefully it'll be um, sometime, I think next month, actually. I know he's off on a Saturday, so I think two Saturdays. So he should be able to, of course, go with me, which he always does, to, of course, carry the cooler, get the apples, that kind of thing. So I won't have to carry the heavy thing. Cause it doesn't have any, I guess, have like like any wheels or anything on it. Oh, thank you, sis, for the name. Cause I was trying to figure out what your name or your business was. Thank you. And like I said, I definitely hope that y'all are being successful. Cause I know I'm not there to go to an event or that kind of thing. But like I said, definitely, I'm sure it's a success. I'm sure. So a CTR events and catering LLC. I love it. Okay, I love it. And it's going good. Um, got to do a wedding. Oh, awesome! So that's awesome. Weddings are always fun, and so a birth, which I'm sure you already know that, but and so a birthday parties too. So that is awesome. Congrats, sis. So that's awesome. Congrats. I'm glad. I'm definitely glad to hear that things are going well. So that is good. Congrats, 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 and much more success to you both. I think you say you have your. Is it one of your cousins or two? But I guess to all y'all, I guess I put it that way because I forgot whether it's one or two cousins you're actually in business with. But like I said, I'm definitely glad that y'all started. I'm definitely glad of that. So that's awesome. 
Good, good, good. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more things, pictures, and, and that kind of thing about your events, too. So that's going to be awesome. So if y'all in St. Louis, make sure y'all check out CTR Events and Catering LLC. Make sure y'all check that out, y'all. Like I said, the ladies do a great job. And I know my sister's... Um, Shantice can cook her butt off. I can tell you that. So I, I already know that already. So I know the food is good. So and I'm sure the events are well too, because she has a very creative mind as well. So like I said, definitely y'all. Uh oh, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm actually at. Okay, there we go. Trying to get my computer to shut off. But like I said, definitely. Like I said, check them out if y'all are in St. Louis or the surrounding areas. And I know I got to get my butt off here shortly because I know I got to get some some food cooked, and I'm actually washing too. So cook. You go back and check on these. Like I said, definitely, y'all. Um, I just want to give y'all an update just to let y'all know kind of what's going on. Even though I went off onto several tangents, I put it that way, about living your life and regrets and all that kind of stuff. But it must have been somebody on this video or in this live and this podcast that that, that 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 needed to hear that. So, so like I said, y'all, the link is in my bio on TikTok. So y'all can connect with my podcast over on Spotify. Um, it's um, the Social Worker Coach. And yes, I talk more about different things on there, social work topics. I talk about coaching topics, like I said, when it comes to mindset, life, improving your life. I talk about different books and summaries about books and all types of stuff. Like I said, y'all definitely just, just come check it out. Uh, make sure that y'all subscribe as soon as y'all get y'all butts off here. And for those who, are, of course, were on the video um, on, 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 on TikTok, make sure that y'all, of course, follow your girl as well. Make sure y'all stay in contact with me because I definitely want to get to know y'all as well. Um, and, of course, on the podcast, The Social Worker Coach, make sure that y'all, of course, bring y'all butts over to TikTok and check it out, too. And check out my page on here and that kind of thing, too. Like I said, definitely follow me, too, to stay in my community and stay in my world and that kind of thing to, to see what's happening. So so with that, y'all, I'm going to get my butt off here. Like I said, definitely. Thank you. I'm Tanetta Clay, your Social Worker Coach. Come out of Arizona now, I guess to put it that way. And, of course, in, in a new place as of this past weekend. So, like I said, definitely, I'm definitely enjoying and loving this, too, the space. And y'all be seeing some, some cute little bloom stuff going on soon, y'all. Trust me on that one. So, like I said, definitely make sure y'all following your girl on the, um, the Social Worker Coach on Spotify or wherever you listen to your podcast at. And, of course, on TikTok. Make sure y'all follow me, too. So, peace out, y'all. I'll check with y'all later. I hope y'all have enjoyed. And, let, and actually, I want to ask y'all. Make sure that y'all let me know what kind of topics or what kind of um, things y'all want to hear about coming from me. I guess I put it that way. You can always send me a, um, a, well, I guess it's called DM here on TikTok too. I want to say that it is. Or just leave a comment here so I can, of course, check them out. That kind of thing too. But like like I said, let me know what kind of things y'all want to hear. What kind of um, information you like to hear from a social worker and a coach. Like I said, then a woman who has been through a lot of different traumas and dramas. And then has lessons to, to of course, um to of course teach about so so like i said definitely let me know um otherwise like i said y'all i will talk to y'all later i'll see y'all in the next video and podcast um social worker coach i'll see y'all in the next in the next podcast episode i hope y'all have thoroughly enjoyed so take care y'all and have a good one and tiktok i get out for as soon as i can figure out how to, <laughs> i can't get the thing okay there it goes <laughs> what is it um oh okay yeah there we go